Ham Radio Crusader. It's time to kick it with some chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Hey everybody, it's Freddie Mac and it's time for another Ham Radio How-To. How would you like to be able to set up your own Supermon 2 page in All Star? Well, that's what this video is all about. So sit back and let's learn something together. Okay, right up front is the directions from Doug Crompton for installing Supermon 2. These instructions will be included in a link in the description and show notes. So follow them closely, but uh, this video guide will get you a lot closer, I believe. First, you want to SSH into your all-star link node and go to number nine and hit the bash shell and type in this line. You can freeze the, the video if you want to get it in detail. And once you do, just hit enter and let that file download. Next thing we got to do is do a chmod and make that file executable. And then we're going to run it. And then hit yes to continue and yes to install Supermon 2 if that's what you want to do and just like that you're done you got to change your directory now over to Etsy slash asterisk slash and then we're going to do a nano on the manager dot comp file we got to come down here and put in a password so that we can establish some security when logging on to All Star, I'm sorry, on to Supermon 2. I'm going to change that little comment out to make it web enabled. And we're going to comment out bind address local and comment in bind address uh, outbound. It's going to come in handy later when we are able to access Supermon 2 from anywhere in the world, if you want to. And right here, we're going to put in an example password of Supermon2 capitalized. Remember this one. I'm going to save and exit that. And then we're going to restart asterisk by typing asterisk.sh. This will make the changes take effect. Now we're going to type in this line because we've got to go to that folder and modify the uh, almond.ini file. We're going to do that with a nano command. We're going to come down here and change 1998 to our pri uh, public node number. In this case, it's 576331. Then we're going to come down here and put that exact same password in this place. Capital S for Supermon2 for the example password. And you can come down here and put the password in a, the private note if you want. But we're not going to. We're going to save and exit. And then we're going to run this uh, batch file to uh, change the password internally. It's a nice little included batch file to kind of get everything set for you. Just follow the prompts. Create the new password. I always use the ad admin for a username, but you can use your call sign if you wish. Just don't put any exclamation points in there. It masks out the password as you're typing it in here. So enter it twice so it can confirm. And then press any key to continue. You can add other username and passwords here if you'd like. We did not in this instance. Now go to the web address, the local IP address. Put the slash Supermon2 behind it. And boom, here comes Supermon2. That's a nice, fresh, or crisp, refreshing new look from Supermon. This is Supermon2. Type in that admin username and the Supermon2 password we put in for an example. See it right there and hit submit. Now it's logged in. You can tell because of the logout admin to the right. Now just select your node. And there it is. You can see the description KD5FMU and the frequency and address that it pulled from uh, 
allstarlink.com. But now we can go into Almon and here into the uh, config area of Supermon 2 and look at that same file we just edited. And we're going to return without any changes. But let's go to global.inc and hit edit file. Right in here is where we can start customizing our Supermon 2 page. Welcome to my Supermon 2 page. These are text letters that can show up on the page while it's not logged in. And the very next paragraphs is the paragraph, I should say, is the text that could display when you are logged in to Supermon. I'll make some changes here to give you an example. You'll notice along the way I'll make a few mistakes, but I always go back and correct them. But you want to be careful here. If you get the syntax out of order or you get the syntax wrong in some of these commands, page can lock up and you'll have to go to the command line to edit global.inc through nano. But we're just changing the displayed text in this instance. And it's kind of hard to mess it up that way, but I mean, it could be done because I've done it. And I'm an idiot. So if I can fix it, you can fix it. You notice I make these changes here, but I forget to uncomment the first of these lines in front of the dollar sign welcome. Because once I make these changes, it didn't display at first, but I go back and make the corrections here in a minute. The paragraph I just did was the one where the message that displays when you're logged in. And I come down and put in my call sign. This is items that show up at the top of the page. Edit the name. Now this is custom stuff. You can put in here whatever you want. Your location. The second line header title. Then the third line header title. Which, since this is just an all star page, I think I left it alone for now. You can write your edits, return to the page, and right here is a line that you can put in in front of the text that will allow you to change the color of the text. This is that customization I spoke of in the title. See where I just uncommented that welcome line? I know I'm zooming in, but I'll come back around to it and show you. Right in front of the word Superman 2, that's where the text begins. That's where you want to put your cursor and paste in that line. But I accidentally took out the word Superman so I'm going to type it back in eventually. When you cut and paste into this, sometimes it selects a word that you're not anticipating and it accidentally takes it out. But you got to put that span, style, color, and the HTML color code, and then span slash at the end of it. Turn to the index here and reload the page. And at first, nothing shows up because I forgot to uncomment those lines. But I uncommented the one for the log, logged out display. And I have a small mistake in there, but I'll go back and fix it. I rushed through the video a little too quickly. But this is, this is just a good example of how quickly, if you go through it too quickly, you can make some mistakes. But, I mean, everything's fixable in All-Star. You just got to know where to fix it. Here's where I go in and catch most of my mistakes. Reading through the code can be like waiting around in a room in the dark. You got to see where the, the code you can change ends and begins. I left out a small bracket there. And then I realized, oh yeah, I didn't uncomment this line so that it would show up. Now I've got to get this other line of code again so I can change the color of this other line. You'll notice once I paste it here, it 
grabs a hold of the word ham and takes it away. I've got to retype it back in. Refresh the page, and voila, it shows up, but oh, there again, I've got another little mistake I've got to go correct. I like this little feature right here where I can go in and edit it from the Supermon page. And there's where I catch my other mistake. And keep making mistakes. <laughs> And now the text is correct. That's in the log. Now it's the logged in. Let's hit the log out. And there's the other text that shows up. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to access your Supermon 2 page from the web. You can give this link to others. And they can just see what's going on with your status of your all-star node. Or you can log into it remotely and make changes. I may speed it up here in just a minute so I can make some more corrections. Boom, boom, boom. That's another little video I made. Time and temperature at the top of every hour. All right, I made some more corrections, adding some customization. Change the color of that text on logout, on the logout screen. But I left one line out, so let's go back in there and fix that. You have to be logged into the Supermon 2 page before you can make these changes, obviously, or the menu button won't show up. Once we're logged in, we'll go back to the configuration editor, keep it on global.inc hit edit and find our mistake it's in here somewhere let's get a copy of that and take it on down to that line I'm gonna better scroll over so I can see now because I've got to add just a Oh no, I've already added this span to the end of that line. Write that, return, and let's refresh the page, and then we gotta log out to see that particular screen. Voila! There's some beautiful colored text. And I've changed the color of the background, which is further down in that file. And once again, it's just another HTML color code that you've got to do. Right here at htmlcolorcodes.com, you can pick your shade of the color that you want and grab that copy and paste that little hexadecimal number, go back into your editor. I like to close it out each time and make it open it back up because I'm not logged in. It wouldn't have worked anyway. Now that I'm logged back in, my buttons will show back up. Go to Configuration Editor and edit global.inc again. And we're going to change this color right here. And it puts a little space in there, so i got to take that out. Write my edits. Return to the index and refresh the page and then log out. Oh, no, it was on the login page. All right, check that out. Now the text is green. You could even add more lines there if you want to and give each line a different color if you wanted to. So it's pretty cool stuff. I love, love, love Supermon 2 in All-Star. I love my All-Star node and I love everything about All-Star, obviously, because I keep making videos about it. And I'm going to continue to do so until I can help anybody I can because 
They're helping me. Special thanks goes out to N8PC Brad up in Ohio. He is super good on super on All Star. He's been helping me out a lot. Thank y'all.